Welcome back. You may know our next guest from his tackling on the football field, but since retiring from the NFL, he's tackled a completely different career. We're talking about Blake Martinez. He started up a business selling Pokemon cards, and he's bringing in, yes, millions, millions of dollars. CNBC's Make It featured him in a recent article over this past week. Check it out on our website, by the way. Blake joins us now. He's a former New York Giants linebacker, former Packer, Stanford Cardinal guy, but your kids might know him as the founder of Blake's Breaks. So, Blake, take us through how you got into Pokemon and what exactly is the business model for managing inventories and market risk around trading cards? Oh, you're going with the big hitters. Um, yeah, I started back when I was uh, six years old, um, just like everybody else in the scene. COVID hit. Everyone saw Pokemon, Pokemon cards skyrocket, trading cards in general. Um, and so I went to my mom. I was like, hey, like, where's my Pokemon cards at? I think I got a million dollars in that binder. And she hits me with the, uh, I gave them away about no. a couple years ago. No. That happened yeah, to my dad so, with his comic book collection years ago. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. And so pretty much at that point, I had to start from ground zero. Started watching people do uh, box breaks. It's where they open up a vintage box, sell pack by pack. Um, saw them doing it, and I was like, I think I could do this myself. I think it's way more fun. And so I think as I started doing it, I saw it be more and more successful. And I worked for myself for about a year and a half, did about $3 million revenue on my by myself, and then paired up with one of my partners, Robbie, and we started a business together. And hired whoever said yes at the time, um, grew the business from putting in 6K into, into the business to buy a set of Pokemon cards, turned that into 15K. And now you see, actually, uh, at the end of this week, we'll break 6 million in revenue as a, as a company. Um, and we're just moving full head of steam forward since then. Blake, is it as simple as just buying or sourcing cards and then getting somebody else to buy them? Is there a marketing effort that has to go along with it? Uh, is there a scarcity value for certain things? Like, how do you manage around that? Yeah, and I think that's where I kind of went different kind of business models when I first started this thing. Um, I had a huge abundance of vintage uh, boxes that I kind of sourced across the last couple of years. And so as those things were getting sold and shows and things that I was doing um, and I was getting depleted, I had to figure out a way that we can have this self-sustaining for a long time. And so I started getting into more of the modern um, product and finding different ways that made that more entertaining and more fun to do. Um, the things we do right now is kind of a thing we call progressive bounties. And so we're selling these $5 retail packs and you have a chance to win seven to $8,000 of product in every one of our streams. Um, and so it allows us to sustain those very like valuable 20 year old packs but also have an abundance of modern packs to continually run. Um, and then sourcing products, it's just doing things like this, uh, being able to market myself out there, um, certain people that didn't really think about their products that they had in storage bins or their basement, whatever it is. And so they'll reach out to me. Um, I closed the deal actually today with somebody for about like 50 grand worth of vintage stuff wow. um, that drove out from San Diego this morning. Wow. And it's one of those things where you just keep finding little things here and there that you can slowly throw in over the next couple months uh, as we keep doing uh, our modern Blake, product. You played with both Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers, if I'm not mistaken. Which one of them should go to the Jets? Oh, oh, OK. Now, hey, here we go. Now, hey, this is the, this is in the question 20 I get seconds, every day. In 20 seconds. Um, I think I think. Aaron Rodgers will end up there, in my honest wow. opinion. I think getting right. the thumbs up from Brian over okay. here. All right. <laughs> Blake like, Martinez, yes, Blake. it's a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Best of luck.